Hi girls, welcome back to the third video of the blow series. So I'm not sure if you've been keeping up to date with my previous videos, but today we're going to be learning how to blow your friend. So obviously again, this does mean how to blow dry your friend's hair. My previous video was of Georgia, if you would have seen it, and I was blow drying her hair and she has extensions. Today I'm gonna to be blow drying Bianca's hair and she doesn't actually have extensions, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. One, because extensions always hold a lot more water than natural hair. And two, because each section won't take as long due to obviously not holding as much water. And as I said, if you have been watching my previous videos, hopefully by now you will know the basic steps to sectioning and blow drying and the products. But if you haven't, don't worry, I am gonna talk you through it. So first of all, I would add some product. Um, with Bianca's hair, she's got quite a lot of hair, which means she'll get quite a lot of natural volume when blow drying. So she's actually got some dry ends, sorry B, <laughs> due to color that she's had in her hair. So I'm gonna use a serum, and this will just to help keep the shine when blow drying. Rub it in the ends. You don't wanna put it too close to the root either because this can make the hair look greasy. So first of all, begin with just rough drying the hair. When rough drying girls, you want to make sure that you've got most of the wetness out of the hair. Still keep a little bit in it, but this just helps with when blow drying, it won't take as long. Also, don't be put off if your client or your friend has either got really long hair, like Bianca's case, or really thick hair, like Bianca's case, because it's still going to be the same process. It might just take a little bit longer and your sections might just have to be a little bit smaller. The first section that you want to take, you can use your finger, it's really simple. You want to take enough hair that you can work with. I would recommend to kind of take quite a small section just to begin with, just so you can get the hang of the hair and just so you can get used to the hair that you're going to be working with. So with the small section that you're doing, at the bottom, be small enough that you just want to take two sections of the hair. Put your head down for me. I'm going to be using, you've obviously seen me use these before, the Pro Blow Curl Me brushes. So they're really simple. You've got the head and the end, or the barrel on the end, and it's got two spokes either side. So you hold one spoke at the end. It's got a little clicky button that you click in and it's literally as easy as that, so you're ready to go. Take first section, get your hair dryer, head down for me B. And when you're asking your friend to put the head down, it's just easier to get right under the root. So you start right at the root. Once you feel like the hair is smooth and dry, you begin to bring the brush down to the ends of the hair and then curl up. And this will slowly, with the heat of the hair dryer, start to create a curl. Use one of these clips, one of these black clips, and you clip into the hair and it stays in while you continue to blow dry. So same again on the next section, get another barrel, clip it in and blow dry your second section. That's the first section done. There's a few ways that you can section the hair whatever you feel comfortable with, but I always come from about here and bring it down. And again, I do the same the other side. With these curl me brushes that I'm using, um, if you would have noticed in my previous videos, I used bigger barrels. So a bigger barrel will create a bit more volume at the root, and it also creates more of a bounce in the hair rather than a curl. So with Bianca's hair, I'm gonna use the smaller barrels and this will create more of a curl. Right, 
remember to hold the spoke when you're taking out the end of the brush girls because otherwise obviously where the heat is still in the brush you might burn yourself and you don't want that Right, so now with the top section that we're taking now, um, I like to tend to work going back to the front. So I leave one section here and start. And this is obviously where you start to create the volume. So even if you haven't used a volumizing product, you can create this volume just by using the brushes. And you begin by just lifting the hair up. This is how the curly blow dry looks. You can see the curls, front of the hair, perfect. 